Hey guys, Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the M.2 MVME or SSD storage in your Acer Predator Helios 300. I'll have the part or model number in the description below just to verify against yours, but it should be basically the same. Of course, you got to take apart this laptop, which I'm going to show you in just a moment and then kind of give you a couple things to uh, be aware of when you try to upgrade the storage in this particular laptop. All right, so just before we get started, you want a small Phillips head screwdriver, you got the iFixit kit, the ProTech Pro tool kit, Gamers Nexus got a kit, but this particular bit that I'm using is the J00, and you just want to unscrew four screws up front, three screws in the middle, and three screws in the back. Once you get that done, you're just gonna to wanna to put, start from the back or have the back of the laptop facing you, and you're gonna to wanna to put one hand on either side. Now, of course, I'm filming at the same time, but imagine you just want your hands facing each other just like this, and you're using your thumb to push up on these feet. When you do that, it's gonna flex up, it's gonna pop, and then you just continue to pull up and go towards the front of the chassis. Now the back cover is off and you have access to all your internals. As you can see, we have the battery, an empty slot for 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD, M.2 slot, this is actually slot zero, and that's slot one. Not sure why they did that, because from the factory, slot the, uh, excuse me, the M.2 drive from the factory is gonna be in this slot, which is slot one. This is slot zero. So by logic, because this slot's gonna be empty, people are gonna put their MVME drive in here. In theory, that would work, but I had a couple issues, which I'll get to here in a moment. Here's, of course, the memory modules to eight gigs or whatever your model comes with, easily upgradable. Your GPU is right here, your CPU is right here, and you can see all the components. Pause the screen if you need to look at anything specific, but there's your speakers in the back. And that's pretty much the internals. There's your wireless card. This wireless card does come with Bluetooth as well. And in order to get to the MVME or excuse me, M.2 drives, there's just two screws. One here, one here, same on the opposite side. One here, one here. Now most MVME drives come with its own uh, thermal pads or heat sink, but these have thermal pads on them. These aluminum plates actually have thermal pads on them. I'm not sure what the thermal conductivity is, but there's no sense in user using the stock one and then, you know, just having a layered thermal pad metal, thermal pad metal. So just don't use the stock heatsink and use the one that comes with the chassis or the laptop. As far as installation, very simple. You unscrew, slot it in, you slot in your little gum stick drive, and then you screw down the mechanism again and boot up. But booting up is the problem that I had. So I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. When I first booted, I got a blue screen, second boot, launching automatic repair. And now this boot, we're just sitting spinning. I'm wondering what's going on. Maybe the extra MVME drive is causing issues. I don't see why, because there's nothing installed on it. It's fresh but I might just remove it and then try to boot up, see how it goes. All right, so as you saw from that clip, I was having trouble booting into the operating system. It was trying to pull an OS off of the empty NVMe drive that I had in slot zero, because again, the factory ships the 256 gigabyte or whatever your size uh, M.2 drive is from, they install it here, and this is drive one drive zero so you swap them over but before you do any of that orders of operations i would recommend is boot the system as normal don't be like me and and uh be impatient and try to get extra hardware added onto the system just yet just boot into the operating system get everything set up with windows 10 once you get to the desktop and everything's detected shut down and then you can open this laptop or your laptop up to add any additional hardware as you see fit before you continue any further, 
what I did or what I had to do is because this particular unit was sitting on the shelf for quite some time, it had the BIOS version 1.02. In order for this MVME, the new one to show up, I had to update to BIOS version 1.06. So if you do have this same exact model uh, laptop, update your BIOS before you try to install another M.2 drive. So boot into the system, set it up, get to the desktop, uh, update everything, including the BIOS, shut it down, then install your M.2 drive, and you should be good to go. Now, I did disable Secure Boot, but I, again, that wasn't the issue. The issue was is not only the BIOS needed to be updated, but the drive was in the wrong place. So install, take the stock M.2 drive from this slot, move it over, and install your new storage in this slot right here. And that will resolve your issues. Once you're inside the operating system, you just need to come over to Start Menu, right-click, and go to Disk Management. Now, of course, my drives on my main system are set up, but your drive will show up as unallocated. A window will pop up. You're just going to choose GPT, hit OK, and then you're going to take that unallocated space, right click on it, and it's going to say uh, new simple volume. You click that, go through the prompts, assign it a drive letter. It's going to take a second, so be patient because you're going to see status formatting. And once it's done formatting, then the drive will be detected in your system. So I hope this video helps you out. Again, don't be like me and be impatient and try to install hardware before you actually go through the basic setup of Windows 10 that it comes with. And uh, if it did help you out, do me a favor, hit the like button. I will have a full review on this system uh, later, but full specs and everything will be in a follow-up video. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more. Comment if you need any additional information or if you're bumping into this issue as well because I, I see a number of people have on forums. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.